Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be tidying up this gorgeous, gorgeous beaded handbag. I'm going to be showing you all how I accessorized it, how I added the magnetic clasp that will be used in sealing it up as well as the brooch and the strap. So if you'll be interested, please continue to watch. So I got my magnetic clasp. This is what it looks like. It's typically sold in the market. They sell two for 100 Naira out here in Port Harcourt. I'm also going to be using a fishing line, okay, the 0 0.60 fishing line or 0.70 depending on which one you have so what i'm going to first of all work on is attaching the magnetic clasp you want to first of all press down this inner part of the magnetic clasp if you go to the market and buy it you guys will see how that um iron piece looks so you just need to just press it down and then figure out where you want to place your magnetic clasp for me i want the clasp to be at the center so what i'm doing here is i'm just counting the square shape for this beaded bag from side to side and figuring out where the center point is i also went ahead to fold the bag as if i want to close it up just to be sure that i'm finding the perfect center point and then i'm going to now go ahead to place my magnetic clasp at that point this clasp usually comes in two pieces okay so i'm going to first of all work on attaching the first piece which is going to be at the base of the bag or on the body of the bag and then the other piece will be on the flap of the bag okay explaining and talking might not really do this entire process justice so please watch closely and replicate everything that i'm doing on your own project okay if you still have questions for me as usual please feel free to drop it in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to respond to you if you've not seen the first part of this video i highly recommend that you watch it in order to know how this entire process works if you know how to construct the bag itself adding the clasp and all the other required accessories will be easy peasy for you okay so what i'm doing here is after i figured out the center point of this bag okay i went ahead to pass my fishing line through one of the beads at the center and then I pass the fishing line through the magnetic clasp okay you can feel free to rewind this video look at how I pass the fishing line and replicate it on your work and you want to pass the fishing line in between the four beads that makes up that cube at the center like i said if you watch that first part of this video you'll understand what i mean by the cube shape okay so that four corner shape at the center you're going to pass your fishing line through the four beads and then also pass the fishing line through your magnetic clasp in such a way that the magnetic clasp and those four cube shape um beads at the center they become one and you want to pull very tightly on your fishing line to ensure that it's very firm make sure that you pass your fishing line in between the bead and the fishing and the magnetic clasp now excuse me pass it in between them as many times as possible if you're having difficulties passing your fishing line through the bead Feel free to make use of your needle or your thread picker okay i explained how the needle and the thread picker works in the first part of this video so feel free to check it out so those two instruments will make it very easy for you to pass your fishing line through your bead and by the time you are done passing it through those center beads that center bead as, uh, that i'm talking about that four corner center bead you know in order to secure the fishing line you are now going to keep passing your fishing line through the other beads on the bag you're going to keep passing them until you are sure that your fishing line is not going to get loose at any point and your magnetic clasp is saying is staying very firm at the center i know i just said a lot and i really am i'm kind of worried that you guys might not understand but please follow me make sure that you watch the first part and the second part in order to understand this very you know very well okay i really really hope that you guys understand because that's my job right my job is to ensure that you guys understand every tutorial that i put on here on the channel if for any reason you still have questions for me please feel free to ask in the comment section all right i'm i'm planning to make another bag okay another beaded bag for myself if you know that you would like me to also share that tutorial let me know down in the comment section what i'm doing here is i'm just passing my fishing line through the other beads on this my beaded bag to ensure that my beadwork is very firm and my magnetic clasp is staying very firm at that center point so the second piece that makes the clasp okay i'm now going to figure out the center point on the flap as well that's why i'm counting from side to side i have nine um square shapes okay so i'm counting from side to side i'll count four from the side four from the other side and then that fifth point at the center that's where i'm going to attach my clasp in if you want your clasp to be at the center just do your mathematics and figure out the center point of your handbag and that is where your clasp is going to be 
okay yours might be different from mine for any reason okay so make sure that you just count and then figure out the center point and that's where you want your clasp to be so you see that now that i figured out the center point i'm passing my fishing line through this middle bead at that point voila did you guys see you can rewind if you did not get that and i'm also zooming out so you guys see what i'm doing carefully so after i passed my fishing line i made sure that i pull this in such a way that the two ends of the fishing line are equal then i'll now pick one piece of the fishing line pass it through the back of my magnetic clasp okay i've already pressed down the iron thing that i talked about earlier so i passed one you see the way i'm passing the second one now exactly so you're now going to pull very tightly and then pass your fishing line each fishing line now pass it through another bead still part of the four corner beads at the center okay i hope it all makes sense so i'm passing my fishing line again can you guys see exactly all right and when you're passing you pull very tightly to make sure that it's firm then you now pick the second fishing line again pass it through another one of those beads at the center voila exactly and then pull very tightly ensure that it's very firm and once you've pulled it like that you 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 pass it again in between beads right there and then when you have pulled and you're sure that your magnetic clasp is sitting perfectly you, you can now start to pass the remaining ends of your fishing line through other beads in such a way that your work stays very firm this process is very easy the entire thing will not take you more than 10 minutes okay it's very very easy to do all right so if for any reason you are still struggling just keep rewinding the video or you can even download it on your device now you can click on the download button right here on youtube and then you have it saved on your phone so anytime you just open up the youtube um app you have the video saved and you can just watch it again and you see you guys see that my magnetic clasp is now secured and i can just close my bag like so all right making sure that you add um a magnetic clasp to your billet bag will make all the difference okay so with um security as well when you carry your bag out you don't just have the opening of your bag just there and anybody can get access so the person has to struggle with the magnetic clasp before they are able to open up your bag so now it's time to add the strap the strap as well they sell it in sewing accessories shop i bought every accessory that i'm working on right here i bought them from a sewing accessory shop i actually bought them from charity okay if you don't know who charity is she's my vendor in my one out here in portacourt i shop for stuff from her i shared her contact in my video where i shared my vendors in if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it on the screen so if you want to talk to charity and buy stuff from her feel free to do so so this is how i'm going to go ahead to add my strap i got the chain and this hook so what i did is i used my um cutter plier to just open up this chain strap and then i fixed the hook okay and now it's time to just use my regular plier to just press this opening that i did press it together like so all right voila all right so now that that is done i'm now going to take the hook and attach the hook to a side of the back can you see how it looks you need two pliers for this work the cutter plier and the regular plier for this type of work okay and this process works for any design you make if you even do like regular handbag okay if you're the kind of person that does leather work or fabric kind of bag or tote bags and you want to add a strap to it this is how you're going to go about it okay all right so i'm doing this for the second end of the chain strap that i'm working on you know that for us to have like a bag handle you have to attach the hook to two sides of the bag so i'm putting the hook on one side and the hook you just when you buy the hook you see how it works you just press it and then hook it on one side of the bag and then look for the other side of the bag as well and then pass your hook through as well and this hook is interchangeable if for any reason you want to switch to another type of strap just detach the hook and put whatever strap you want to put and if you just want to carry your beaded bag as a clutch as well just disconnect the hook totally or you can just put the hook I mean put the strap inside the bag you guys on that i hope you guys understand everything that i'm saying and that's pretty much it for this tutorial for this um brooch that i have on top i simply just glued it on at first i used fishing line but it was still dancing around i think i talked about it in a previous video so after a while i went ahead to just use hot glue to secure it on the bag can you guys see that it's still rolling around after this point in the video i went ahead to use my hot glue to just secure it to the bag and that's pretty much it for this handbag tutorial if you guys enjoyed please be sure to hit the like button it helps me know that you guys got value can you see the end results of this handbag absolutely gorgeous and the day i wore it out i got a lot of compliments i'm sure you guys as well will have a great time making this for yourself or even adding it to your collection for things that you make for clients for sale okay thank you guys again for watching and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another video Bye bye